Hello, welcome to Satellite Lake. I recently got a V646, WL Toys V646 with headless mode, and uh, been trying to fly it with its uh, stock controller. This is the controller you get with it, this little dinky thing. Um, it's just awful as all heck, this controller. I could, can't get used to it. Um, with that in mind, this thing is also supposedly compatible with the older WL Toys V9X9 uh, format for like the V949, V959 um, controller. And that's what I'm going to do today. I want to see if I can fly this out here in the open with the WL Toys transmitter. Another thing I don't like about this transmitter, the range on it is awful. Uh, it only uses two little batteries and you're lucky if you can make it to that wall <laughs> on the side of the uh, building there. Um, Hopefully I can get much better range using this 959 transmitter here. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to fly this uh, 646, turning it on right now. Now with the 94 or the 9X9 format, you really don't need to do an upward down to bind it. You just turn on the transmitter until you hear a beep. And right now I'm going to start with 60%. See, it's already bound. So let's go for flight. And 60% seems to be pretty poor. Let's go to 80. See if that helps any. Let's go to 100. Oh yeah. Picks up a nice speed with 100. And I'm getting great range as compared to that crappy little transmitter. Sorry, my uh, foreign language there, but <laughs> the transmitter that comes with it is just awful. But you pair it up with this. Yeah, it's a great little quad. So, for those of you intermediate flyers out there that have been flying for a while and got an old 9x9 transmitter, dig it out. You're going to want to use it with this cheap little toy. I wonder if they got this in BNF format, because this would be a great little quad in BNF if you use the 9x9 transmitters. Now, another thing this has, let's demonstrate that real quick. I'm gonna, you have to put it down in the ground. If you put the, um, let's see, the throttle and rudder to the left and the pitch and roll to the far right, this enters supposedly in 100% mode, uh, what's called uh, headless mode. And let's see if that actually worked. Turning the off, yes it did. So no matter which direction this thing's pointed at, left is left, right is right, away is away, and back is toward me. So you can actually do uh, moving pirouettes with this quadcopter. That's about the only thing I like headless mode for is doing these little pirouettes. Let's bring it in close so you can see this little quad. It's a cute little quad. But you really need to use a better transmitter than the one that comes with it. That transmitter is awful. It's just almost unbearable to fly with it. Okay, to exit out of headless mode, you have to land. And it automatically goes back to uh, normal flight, normal mode two flight. Okay, let's try tricks. Okay. I can't remember how to do flips with this thing. Hmm. Okay. I can't remember which one is a flip button on this. Maybe you can't do flips with this using this controller, but you can fly it around normally. So <laughs> I am pressing the button. Doesn't want to flip. Okay, so it won't flip with this controller, but everything else works fine. So sending it out. I wonder what kind of flight time I'm going to get with this. We'll find out here. Yeah, I couldn't fly this outdoors with that controller for some reason. It, you really need to go to high rate mode to get this outdoors. And that controller, the, the uh, rate that it gives you, at high, it's high. It's just not enough to come outdoors. Any breeze overtakes this quadcopter with the base controller. But flying this with the 9X9 controller at 100%, oh yeah, it's a great little quad. So those of you considering the 646, you need 
a different transmitter. Now I believe the Dyn X9 format is, works with some of the um, better transmitters. I've never tried that. Okay, there goes the battery. So that's the flight time you get with this little quad, especially with doing tricks like I was doing. But uh, other transmitters may indeed work with this also that work uh, the 9X9 format. So this is Quadcopter 101 with a V646 review. Overall, it's a good quadcopter as long as you got a good transmitter with it. That transmitter that comes with this thing, oh, you got to throw it away. It's awful. Okay, Quadcopter 101, signing out. Thank you.